Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. We are back at it with another Christmas DIY. I got this cute sign from the Dollar Tree, but uh, it does not fit my decor at all. So, you know, I had to change it up. Now, what you're about to see is just a whole hot ass mess. I was cringing the entire time I was the entire time I was editing this. I was like, "Girl, you gonna stab yourself in the hand? Why are you doing that?" It was a mess. <laughs> this whole thing was a mess. Um, but I do end up being able to salvage it in the end. Um, but yeah, I should have just skipped all this mess and covered it up from the beginning because. Mm, this was just it was impossible like I could not get it off I don't know let me know if y'all have an idea of how I could have gotten it off without like almost cutting my fingers off <laughs> but um once I finally decided to give up I started laying down some fabric laying down some paper seeing what I wanted to do and what I ended up doing was taking some heavy plain white cardstock paper and tracing it out using my exacto knife and gluing that down um, that would um, smooth out the surface because it was looking a mess um, <laughs> after I was yanking and pulling and prying at the front of it and that um, cardstock actually gave me a flat surface to put on my decorative paper, which I got from Hobby Lobby. So I ended up choosing this really pretty Christmas colored plaid pattern, and I just did the exact same thing with it that I did with the cardstock. I simply laid it down and traced it out and then just glued it down with a thin coat of Mod Podge. And of course, I have to gingerfy everything. I'm obsessed, in case you have not noticed. I end up making this a cute Baking Spirits Bright sign i realized i didn't even have one i keep seeing them but i don't have one so it was time for me to make one um i'm extra so we got the caulking and we put some fake snowy icing on top and on the front of the um roof and once i was done with that while it was still wet i used some mylar flakes you can find them i think they're listed as fake snow at hobby lobby um for a better price actually than dollar tree you can't find it at dollar tree but um at hobby lobby right now it is um, 99 cents oh and i did use some wood blocks also from dollar tree um, to reinforce it. It stands on its own pretty well, but I felt like it was going to be a little bit heavier with the ornament I'm going to put on and the caulking that I put on. So I did reinforce it in the back with these little wooden um, cubes. So now I am going to lay down my vinyl. I used my Cricut to layer just the words Baking Spirits Bright. Um, you can go on Google and find a bunch quite easily, or you can go to Etsy and find some. And I'm starting with my layering. I have it red in the back and white up front because I thought it would make it pop and it really really did and then once I laid my vinyl I did a little embellishment using some um, Hobby Lobby items and Walmart items.
Walmart stepped all the way up this year with their gingerbread ornaments. I thought they were so cute. And this one right here that you see is absolutely fitting. He is holding a little rolling pen and it does say Baking Spirits Bright. So naturally I had to choose this one. And I don't usually go for pastels, but they really worked. So yeah, this one was perfect for this sign. Now you see me playing around with these little miniature uh, cookie cutters. They are actually listed as buttons at Hobby Lobby for half off. And I was wondering if I should use the silver ones or the colored ones, but the colored ones won. And I just put a tiny little bit of hot glue on the back of those and hot glued those to the front of the sign. And the same thing for the ornament. You see me just twisting very easily twisting off the um, top of that and I'm going to hot glue it into place. That was it for this super simple and easy Christmas sign. Um, crisis averted, it wasn't too bad to fix. So I'm really excited with how this turned out. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Would you try one of these? It was very easy to do, even though I made it way harder on myself. <laughs> if you enjoy these types of videos, I do a ton of Christmas DIYs and a lot of them are gingerbread. So if you're team gingerbread, stick around, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.